everyone, it's Alan here. Today I will be making bánh khọt or Vietnamese small pancake. It's a very popular dish um, in the southern coastal province of Bà Rịa Vũng Tàu. Vũng Tàu is the nearest beach city to Saigon. Therefore, many people working in Saigon uh, come here to spend their weekends. And besides seafood, uh, this city is well known for offering many great stores of Bangkok. I was in Vong Tau a few months ago and had a chance to visit this history, which is well known for selling the most delicious Bangkok in the city. When you enter the place, the first thing you're gonna see is two huge mini pancake pans that look quite like shallow cupcake pans. The pans are set on wood burning stoves and hold Bangkok sizzling in frying oil. Around the mini pancake pans are about um, 10 people working really harmoniously in an assembly line. Firstly, the batter is poured into the molds, then one shrimp is added on top of each pancake, and then each pancake will have its own lid to cover. When the mini pancakes are formed and cooked, they are transferred to the other pan and fried for the second time. It's really hot here in southern Vietnam, and despite the numerous fans working on full speed, the atmosphere is rather hectic, I must say. On weekends and public holidays, many tourists and working people in Ho Chi Minh City will travel all the way here just to enjoy a plate of Bangkok. Therefore, you can expect really long queues on those days. One serving portion of these mini pancakes consists of around 10 pieces sitting on a plate with a generous sprinkle of ground dry shrimps and scallion oil. If you observe carefully, you can see that they use really a lot of vegetable oil in the pan and that is definitely one of the tricks to get the pancakes crispy. Because of the size of the pancake, this can be served as a snack or a light meal. Um, if you are not hungry, you can just eat one or two, but I'm telling you, once you start, it's really difficult to stop. Bangkok is served with a platter of fresh herbs and uh, mustard leaves and lettuce as wrappers some sweet and sour pickled green papayas. You just wrap everything in the leaf and then dip in the dipping sauce and serve. Mmm, so crispy, fresh and yummy. Let's try making this at home. Helen's recipes. Firstly, you want to peel and devein the shrimps. Season with some salt and pepper, some minced garlic or shallots. If you can get hold of this Bangkok flour mix, that's great. Otherwise, just mix rice flour with cornstarch. The basic recipe is just as simple as mixing flour with water, but there are actually many tricks and secrets behind making the perfect crispy yet fluffy Bangkok. For the liquid, you can just use water, but using club soda or a mixture of beer and water will make the mini pancakes fluffier. That's because the small bubbles in the beer or club soda will add a lightness to the batter. Combine the flour with the liquid and then stir well until smooth. If you want the Bangkok to have a nice yellow color, add about a teaspoon of turmeric powder. It normally comes with the package if you buy the Bangkok flour mix. Another secret in making the perfect Bangkok butter is to use leftover cooked rice and coconut milk. Just blend a cup of leftover cooked rice, gom ngui, with a cup of coconut milk until smooth. The blended leftover cooked rice makes the mini pancakes fluffier and helps maintain the crispiness. Just combine together and let the batter rest for at least 30 minutes. Oh, and don't forget to add about half a teaspoon of salt into the batter. You can get these mini pancake pans at Vietnamese markets or online. I will put the links below where you can buy it. The pan also plays an important role in making the pancakes crispy. If you have the choice, choose the pans with thick bottom, especially those made of cast iron. Heat a generous amount of vegetable oil until nice and hot. Then pour the butter into the forms and quickly add a shrimp on top of each pancake so it can stick to the butter and will not fall off easily. 
If you want, you can stir fry the shrimps first, but then they could be a little bit overcooked after frying. Cover the lid and let this fry for about 3 to 5 minutes, checking occasionally. When they are fully cooked and turn golden brown, take out and let them rest on a paper towel to remove the excess oil. Arrange them nicely on a serving plate together with some fresh herbs like mint or coriander and uh, mustard leaves or lettuce as a wrapper, some pickled daikon and radish uh, or some green papaya if you have, and a bowl of light dipping fish sauce. To serve, place a piece of mustard leaf or a lettuce in the palm of your hand. Put a small pancake on top together with, the, with some herbs and the pickles. Roll it up, dip in the sauce and enjoy. Let me give it a try. It's so fluffy, crispy and yummy. In my home city in Da Nang, we also have a similar dish called bánh căng. It's also made in the same form. And rather than shrimps, they also use other toppings like squid, other seafood, or quail eggs. Look at the amount of oil she has in the pan. It's really a lot. Normally at home, most of us don't have the courage to put that much oil in the pan while making these pancakes. That's one of the reasons why homemade mini pancakes are not as crispy as those at the stores. Another thing that they do at the shop and we don't is that they fry the pancakes two times. When the mini pancakes are formed, they change it to the other pan. And that is a very crucial trick to get the mini pancakes really crispy. In Da Nang, Ban Kang is served with some shredded fresh greens and shredded green papayas. We just eat it like that on it all without any wrapping. Mmm, it's super crispy and delicious. If you decide to give this recipe a try, don't forget to take a photo of your food and upload to Instagram, Facebook or Google Plus with hashtag HelenRecipes. I would love to see your photos and have them featured in my next videos, just like these awesome dishes. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.